this travel list for our CAPD Baxter. And it gives you a whole list that's really great about um, what to take with you. Make sure what all you need because it would be easy to forget. And there's been a couple times, like I went to Bisbee, which is two hours away. I forgot my drain bags. It was okay because I just did full cycles then. I didn't do a, a half where I drained and then, you know, a couple hours later filled again. Um, I just went continuously through. Um, there was a time I forgot the heparin and that wasn't great because I ended up making my visit shorter because I needed to get that heparin in my bag. Um, I don't Um, I, there's way too much fibrin that had built up. So I definitely take heparin and a couple of syringes, um, you know, and I have a little case that's just that. Um, that way I can put that in the fridge and people aren't like nosing around and messing around with my stuff, especially if there's kids, you don't want like needle things around. I don't know. Anyways, uh, one of the suggestions I had on this though was to add potassium foods. On here. on here because I noticed when I was gone one morning I woke up and I, I looked at Don and I was like when have I had potassium last when you go on vacation and you're away from routine it's just something that slips and if you have a partner who's very excited about trips because that means he can actually cheat on what he wants to eat or shouldn't eat then it's also a good thing to have that on a list because then it's kind of in your mind. Even though it is, it's something about going someplace else that makes it not right there still or not easily accessible. I know I wanted to bring along a cooler and I thought, oh yeah, we could put some drinks in there and stuff like that and, and travel up that way. But then we decided, well, we had a whole pickup truck full of drums. So there wasn't really room for a cooler. I mean, I guess we could shift things around. Um, but what I should have done instead of even thinking about the drinks, which was like waters, <laughs> was um, bananas, avocado, cantaloupe, you know, those kind of things that I need to absorb and continuously eat. So I, I told Beth I wouldn't be surprised if my potassium has gone down in my blood work because of my vacation. Um, it just wasn't something I thought of. And... Um, I have upped my red meat intake, which makes me feel so much better. And yeah, and yet that weekend, there was four days. On Thursday, we, for lunch, had carne asada burritos. You can take us out of Tucson, but you can't get us away from those burritos. <laughs> um, and then we had um, chicken that night I think and then that the bar is well known for their beer bottled beer can chicken and pot pies and you know so basically we had chicken the, the rest of the time and I could And I could tell on Sunday, I told Dawn, I don't really feel great. Like I feel worn down and I, I feel almost extra tired, even though I took all my vitamins. Oh, is that on here? I don't know if that's on here. Whew. That might be a good thing to put on here too. Oh, it says medications, but I would almost put maybe vitamins as, an, as another thing because I think, oh, I don't take medication. I take my emergency pills just in case I go insane and get peritonitis. But other than that, I, I don't take anything. So I don't think my mind would think automatically vitamins, like vitamin D. So I So I almost wonder if that should be put on here too, just a little separate. But um, I did take those things, and so I was taking them, but I still felt run, run down. And I really, truly believe that it's because I didn't have enough of the red meat, because we eat that 
four times a week at least, sometimes a little extra. Um, it just, it helps with the anemia and it helps your, it feeds the, it feeds your muscles. It feeds what you're doing. Um, so that was another thing I noticed, but it is what it is and we're all learning. Um, I wanted to show you as well this fun little chart. Like it shows all these things that this is um, low phosphorus stuff and this is the high. This is stuff that you should ignore and not eat at all, which for the majority I don't eat, except if you notice there's this. I know. And then on the other side for the low phosphorus snacks, there's like dots and Skittles and um, vanilla wafers and um, shortbread cookies and graham crackers. I mean, this is all the processed food, which I'm like, why is that even on the list? Like, get rid of that crap. Don't eat it. But um, and then I thought, OK, well, if I'm eating just the Cheetos and I'm eating none of the other stuff, well, probably oh, I'm okay. <laughs> That's how I'm justifying it because I really don't eat any of the other stuff. Once in a while, I have a little bit of Skittles. That's the only thing I saw in here. But I don't know the last time I've had vanilla sandwich cookies or graham crackers. I don't eat crackers. I don't even buy the stuff for Ben. He won't eat it. Like we just now cook up cookies if we want that. Marsha wants to say hi. He's a funny dinosaur. Say hi to the people. There he is. He ate some of his, um, I forgot you call it. Look at how he bobs his head. He's happy. He's just so content. He could poop on me right now. And it's like, oh, well. Um, but he ate his, uh, I forgot what it's called. They're like little tablet things that you soak in water so that he's, um, can chew it because it's really hard. And then they get soft. So he ate quite a few of those today, and that helps keep him regular. And then I was a little, and then I was a little worried that he hadn't pooped, but he did because I looked in his cage, and I'm like, oh, there's quite a bit in there. So I'm gonna clean that out later. And uh, I posted a picture of him sitting like this. Uh, the other. Uh, the other day and somebody was like, how do you know he's not going to bite your jugular? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, but he doesn't. And sometimes I can feel his breath like really heavily breathing on me and it makes me a little nervous, but he just likes the veggies. He doesn't need to eat a Peruvian. So anyways, that's about it for today. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. And drink your water because that's so important. Today is supposed to be like 104. Gross.